How's it going guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms out here at Take Game Range with a Beretta M9. Let's go ahead and uh, give this guy a shot. Sir, that feels familiar. I love that. Ah uh, yes, the Beretta M9. Guys, this is a gun that I'm very familiar with, having spent 10 years in the Marines, and uh, I've been carrying one of these, I guess you could say, or at least this has been my sidearm for different training operations and things along those lines for quite a few years now. And the Beretta M9 is just a super, super gun. If you guys haven't shot one of these before, I gotta tell you, they were first off a lot of fun, they're accurate and very reliable pistols. And uh, they can definitely handle the abuse that a bunch of Marines put on them because you should see the ones that we have in our armory. And yes, I'm in the reserve, so we're not gonna see the M17 or any of that kind of cool stuff anytime soon. I can almost guarantee that. But that's okay, because uh, I like this all metal frame, metal slide, and everything else, uh, M9 quite a bit. Yeah. I am a fan of this guy. So it was originally designed in the early 80s and it won the contract to replace the 1911 as the next sidearm for the United States military, beating out the SIG P226 mostly just because of cost. So this guy's been in service now since I think it won the contract and started being produced in 1985 and then uh, it's been in service since 1990 and currently serving uh, throughout the world, honestly, but mostly with the United States Armed Forces. And there's a reason for that. Like I said, highly reliable and just good functioning firearm. I mean, it feels great to shoot. Even in the offhand, I gotta tell you guys, I am definitely a fan. There we go. So it's an easy shooting gun. Like I said, it's an all metal gun. There's no polymer parts on this guy here, except for the grips maybe. Uh, but because of that, it adds a little bit of weight to it and makes that nine millimeter cartridge very easy to handle. Now this is a uh, double action, single action. However, you'll notice the safety is a decocker only. So there it is. And that's that. Now, of course, if I have it, well, obviously decocker and safety, but if it is, in the single action position where the hammer's already pulled back and you want to put it on safe, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. It's either in fire or decocked and on safe. All right, now of course, double action it takes a little bit more to pull that trigger. So let's go ahead and slowly creep that. There it is. And of course, you can tell the difference between that single action and double action pretty quickly because that double action is a little bit heavier, of course. Now, like I said, this guy here uh, beat out the SIG P226, mostly because of a cost factor, but it replaced the 1911, which has been around, well, yeah, you guessed it, since 1911. And the United States military is looking for something that had a little bit higher capacity. Uh, they were going to mostly 9mm for sidearms, and, well, the Beretta beat it out. And Beretta is, what, the world's oldest gun manufacturer, from what I understand? And... Uh, I think they know what they're doing. So the grip and the feel and ultimately the look of this gun is just very nice. Now at first, when I saw this gun, I thought the exposed barrel was kind of a bad idea because I figured that just left room for dirt and trash and everything else to get in there. Well, that was actually the idea. Having the exposed barrel allowed things not to get caught up in between a slide and a barrel or anything like that, allowed debris and whatever else to just fall out. And it makes for a pretty easy cleaning as well because you don't have to worry about taking the slide completely apart or taking the slide off the gun to try to clean up underneath or try to remove any type of debris that's sitting on top of the barrel that's now between the barrel and the slide. It's just all right here, lock the slide back and well, you just spray some oil in it and you're good to go. Uh, from the times that I've been using this uh, in the military, i got to tell you, uh, a lot of maintenance doesn't really hold, go into this guy, i got to tell you. But like I said, very easy gun to shoot, and I'm going to retain these here in my uh, pocket just so I don't drop anybody's mags on the ground. 
And there it is, does have that automatic bolt go home. Uh, if you do slam a fully loaded mag in there while the slide is locked back. So a lot of modern day firearms, or even actually just a lot of firearms that aren't so modern. I know quite a few 1911s have that capability as well. So it just adds a little bit more speed to the reload. But of course, I usually train myself to slam that in there and either go for the slide release or rack the slide anyway, just in case it doesn't catch. I don't always rely on that, me personally. Uh, let's go ahead and let's shoot a little, little bit more about it, and then we can talk a little bit more about the features and whatnot over at the bench. Also, while we're here looking at it, pretty easy to tell it does have your ambi safety as well. I mentioned it was a uh, safety decocker, and yes, it is on both the left and right side towards the top rear of the slide, which keeps it out of the way and easy to get to with your thumb, as you can see. Let me show it left-handed, just like that. Easy day, right? Let's try that double action left-handed once. Oh yeah, that is a sweet shooting firearm here. And this is straight out of the box. I haven't lubed this up or oiled it at all. I just took it out of the box and started shooting it. And well, it seems to be doing all right so far. Oh yeah, accurate little pistol too. Pretty much right where I'm aiming is right where I'm hitting. And that's always a plus, of course. Other neat thing about this gun here is that it's coming with three 15 round mags. It looks like you only have one round left here. Three 15 round mags, that's awesome. And the price point is also super awesome on this guy. So head on over to our website, classicfirearms.com and uh, search for new US 9mm M9 by Beretta. And I think you'd be impressed with the, uh, the price on this guy as well. All right, there we go. Yep, there I am riding the slide release again. But yeah, let's head on over to the bench. Let's talk about this guy a little bit more here, some of the features, and maybe a little bit more history about it as well. The Beretta M9, just an iconic, historic firearm, guys. You see this in the movies, you see it everywhere else, and it's been serving its life in the United States military since 1990. So it's just talk about a cool gun and a fun shooting gun, right? It does have a five inch barrel on it too. You can check out those sights as well. Uh, pretty easy to pick up. You just have kind of that white mark right back here in the rear sight with your front white dot. And of course, like I mentioned before, you got your ambi safety and a cocker right there. But of course it only acts as safe whenever the hammer is forward. It will not be unsafe while the hammer is back. You will have to either fire it in double action while the safety is off or go ahead and load it, make ready. You know, like, uh, like a lot of people do. <laughs> go ahead and load it, make ready. Then you can fire it in that single action position. All right, so talking about this guy some, in the late 70s, NATO pretty much came across or came up with the standard standardization agreement or STANAG. Uh, I think it was the Joint Services or Standardization Services of Pistols. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, a bunch of dudes got together and said, hey, we need to quit going with a whole bunch of randomness for our sidearms, because up until then it was the 1911, uh, chambered in 45 ACP, of course, which was common across all branches of the United States military except for the United States Air Force, who decided to carry Colt 38 special revolvers, uh, much like detectives and law enforcement uh, did up until that time. Well, still some do today. But the Air Force then pretty much got brought on board under the STANAG agreement that pretty much said, hey, we need something universal that multiple branches across multiple countries can shoot and it needs to work, right? So the nine millimeter, nine millimeter parabellum round won that contract and then it pretty much came down to manufacturers to create the firearm that would be shooting that round. And Beretta won out, as I said before, beating SIG P226, uh, or at least the SIG P226, uh, pretty much over cost. But one neat thing about this is though the testing that went into it, guys, this thing has survived a lot. I think it was negative 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, where they tested to see how it would work in that environment, buried it in sand, snow, mud, dirt, picked it up, fired it, submerged it in salt water, and the means firing before failure or something along those lines, put it this way, it went 35,000 rounds before having a failure to fire. That's pretty impressive. Uh, and well, I believe it to be true as well, because like I said, uh, this is the same pistol that I'm still carrying in the Marines. And the ones that we've got, 
they don't look anywhere near as good as this. Well, obviously they're not new. It looks like something that's been carried since Desert Storm. <laughs> but uh, they still work and they function and they shoot reliably and they shoot accurately. So I've been able to at least place expert a couple of times now with the ones that we have at my unit. And I think that says quite a bit for the pistol because it's still holding true and shooting accurately. And I like that quite a bit. All right, so I've already talked about the five inch barrel, the safety, and what else? Three magazines, three 15 round mags. These are all steel mags, as you can see right here. It does have your round count indicator right on the back side of the magazine. So you have five, 10, 15, five round intervals. Last round bolt hold open, of course. And then, like I said before, if you do have a fully loaded mag and throw that guy up in there, the slide should go forward on you. But like I mentioned, I'm not, I don't rely on that simply because well, mags can start to you know, wear out or whatever that's causing that, the follower can start to wear out, whatever your extractor, or not extractor, but whatever your bolt hold system is, uh, can start to wear out on you and then all of a sudden you're gonna be going and completely relying on that, but your slide's back. So yeah, you'd need to either actuate the slide release or just pull back and let it go. So me personally, that's the method I prefer. Anyway, this is a fun shooting gun, guys. It's an all metal construction gun and it's able to mitigate that recoil by the nine millimeter very easily. Able to get fast follow-up shots, and I love the grip angle too, because it allows that recoil. Uh, it's pretty much, how can I say it, other than it's a comfortable shooter, but I'd like the grip angle because it's a little bit more steep than some of the guns out there, and I like that because it just feels more natural and ergonomic to hold the gun that way. Definitely a fan of the Beretta M9. And now what you guys are gonna be a fan of is the price. So again, head over to classicfirearms.com, search for the Beretta M9, uh, <laughs> military issued pistol, and I think you guys will be impressed with that price as well. In fact, I might need to take this one home. All right, uh, final thoughts on this gun here, guys, is you are truly getting a new famed pistol here. I mean, this thing right here is just it's been all over the world. It's been in countless Hollywood films and TV shows. It's served alongside soldiers, Marine, airmen, sailors, everything that you could possibly think of that the United States puts into action. This pistol has been there and it's seen service all over the world with the United States Armed Forces. So yeah, I'm a fan of this guy quite a bit. But all right, I'm done talking about the Breda M9. I think I've yapped long enough about that. It does come with the hard case though, so that's also cool. But the last nine millimeter pistol I wanna talk about is our current giveaway, and that's in this bag right here. And if you haven't seen our video announcing this guy as our next giveaway, you might wanna go check that one out. It's probably popping up in a box somewhere at the end of this video. But what it is, guys, is the Zenith Z5P. And this right here is an MP5 clone that is Beautiful, comes with three 30 round mags that you see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these guys out and pop that right into place. FB Tactical Brace, Vortex Crossfire, Red Dot, and a whole lot of fun, actually. Gonna get that slap in there, right? Oh, did I mention it's coming with the uh, Franklin Army binary trigger as well? One shot when you pull, one shot when you release. That makes a whole lot of fun for shooting. So again, go check out that video there. We even throw my suppressor on there because why not? That's actually, that's a, absolutely a lot of fun. It does come with the sling as well that you see here, guys. So head on over to our website. You'll see the enter now banner right up top. Don't miss out, go refer your friends. If your friends aren't using your referral links, you better tell them that they're missing out on something pretty sweet. They already missed out on a 50 cal most likely. And that's that's their fault for not signing up. So you need to let them let them know that. All right, guys. I'm gonna end it there. Check out again the Beretta M9. Get your entries in for the Xena C5P. God bless, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.